exciting times. Follow me as I go on a new adventure. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Rev Dan and this is Rev Up. So I'm a vicar in the Church of England, but I also have a passion for riding motorcycles. I'm here at the Motorcycle Live Show at the NEC and we are guests on the Royal Enfield stand. Why are we guests on the Royal Enfield stand? It's because we're setting up a new charity, uh, Revs, being launched next uh, April. And we are recording the sixth uh, episode podcast. Details are linked below down in the, in the description. Um, to help launch that, to speak about our passion for motorcycles, to speak about the launch of the charity. Well, uh, apart from other things, we've got some really great interviews coming up. Um, and the charity is basically helping young people and, and other further fellow um, motorcyclists to, who have perhaps had a, a tough time, perhaps suffering with mental health, um, and engage with them uh, to help them practically, but also, as always, being Christians, to speak about the good news of Jesus Christ with them. And it's been great that uh, Royal Enfield are really supportive of what we're trying to do, especially as we go out into communities uh, using church buildings uh, to set up biker yeah. hubs, perhaps where they can come and fix their bikes if they're broken for free, if we can, and, and help them get the bikes fixed. And uh, also, if they want to pray or speak about the Christian faith, we're there to do that. It's a, it's a really, really exciting project. But the most important thing is uh, to really help people, especially at this time where uh, youth uh, are so disaffected and mental health is absolutely huge. So we're here today. Uh, my colleague, Matthew, uh, Father Matthew Cashmore, is recording uh, part of the podcast at the moment in the cafe behind me, uh, and I'm here to uh, just uh, perhaps go around the show a bit to, to, to see what's going on. Really excited. It's the first time that I've been uh, to the motorcycle show. I can't believe that I haven't been before, but it's just one of those things. So we'll, we'll go around a bit, we'll see what's going on, and um, we'll get a bit more into what we're doing uh, with Royal Enfield, some of their, uh, some of their my, uh, bikes. Look at this, this is quite cool uh, behind me. And um, and see perhaps who we meet. We're gonna, we got a, it's very cool, I got a press pass. So um, we're gonna stay here after the show's closed and we're gonna get access to some areas that uh, we wouldn't be able to normally. So there's a, continue to watch. So we're, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be exciting. So Matthew's just behind me interviewing at the moment. What they're doing is, for the podcast, they're asking what people's favorite bike is or, or why they came to the motorcycle show, what they're, they're getting out of it. Many people come for different reasons. So they're there doing um, some Vox Pops, they're called, uh, for the show. The show is absolutely massive. There's so much going on here. Um, I've only really been in this area that you're seeing uh, behind me. Um, there's, there's huge other areas which we're gonna go see. Um, I own a Kawasaki, so I wanna go over and see Kawasaki and, and see what they're offering this year. So at the motorcycle show, you, you've got brands who bring in their new bikes so people can come, uh, and, and like with Royal Enfield, uh, they got the all stands and you can come and sit on them and, and, and see what it feels like. There's a guy just behind me here going on the Himalayan. Um, seeing what it feels like, it's a great opportunity to um, get on bikes that you not, normally wouldn't be able to. So um, here's the, the cafe that we're being based out of just here. It was great, it was free coffee. Um, but there's helmets, there's motorbikes, there's gear, there's insurance, there's uh, even one uh, stand, I think that they, if you break your bones, they got the, uh, the metal to go in there. So it's, it's, it's got everything. So um, we're gonna continue to go around uh, and, and, and do some of the recording. And um, let's see what else there is that's really exciting um, around here. There's a whole load of different bikes. There's an electric bike stand here, uh, which not my thing really, electric bikes, but I never tried one, so we'll, we'll have to see. So Matthew's just behind me. Um, recording so I thought I'd go for a walk around. I haven't walked around the show yet. Um, it's interesting I haven't done a vlog for such a long time. I used to do it on my other channel uh, vlogging and so I went a big vlog back and this is a, a great opportunity but I haven't actually walked around the show so I'm just gonna walk around um, having a look what's here. They've got uh, massive stands that um, you've got gas 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 and KTM down there uh, BSA Big Ducati stand, um, Kawasaki. Kawasaki is quite. I see it. It's quite far away from me. Um, CCM, which is a, a British band, a brand, uh, 
just here. I, I looked at them, um, a bit out of my price range though, but some gorgeous, gorgeous bikes. Um, and really, I'm not getting to look at the bikes because it's a, <laughs> we're trying to promote the charity, we're trying to network. Um, and we, I was just speaking to Matthew about, oh, we should just come back as punters because uh, we're not being able to go and see, see things. So there's a danger that if I don't walk around now, we're not going to be able to uh, look at stuff. And even now I'm working in that sense. Um, and then <laughs> looking out to see, what's, to see what's going on behind me. This is a, a busier area over here. Um, I think you've got all the bigger brands around here. So I'm just next to Yamaha right here. There are brands here, there's also uh, Kimco, which are very quiet. So a lot of people coming for the, the, the big interest brands. Um, because it's a great opportunity to sit on the bikes as well. It's, um, to see what it feels like, but, you know, a lot of people will do. As we all do a lot of research, looking at the bikes, seeing what new bikes are coming in, looking at the specs. You know, I'm not really a, a specs person. Uh, for me it's about um, the experience, the riding and so for me that's what I, I, I look for. I, I prefer the adventure bike um, type. Matthew does as well. Alex, our third partner in the charity, he's more of a hipster and so he, he's got a he's got a Triumph Bonneville, is that what he's got? And so you know he, he loves those so he's a Triumph stand right here as I walk past Really big stand actually, huge, huge stand. Um, Norton, Norton, another great British bike brand over here. And just I'm walking down to Kawasaki to be honest, because um, my first bike was a Kawasaki KMX 125 Scrambler. So that's the um, uh, the bike that I first have. So you always have that love of your first bike, don't you? And uh, you remember it so well. So um, come down. Kawasaki is all green. No, it's, 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 it's all green. It's all green here. And um, and now obviously I've got a Kawasaki Versus uh, 650, um, which uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look, I'll, I'll turn off this and have a look, see where, what they've got on offer around here. But um, I do want to go see Triumph and I love to go see Norton as well. So I'm, I'm here now, uh, down at, oh, camera lost me. I'm here now down at the, uh, the stand, so I'm gonna have a quick look and I'll see you in a minute. So I think on the world's, uh, <laughs> First <laughs> motorbike vlogger because I just um, should be getting B-roll and but actually it's just me speaking into the camera. What's interesting is uh, the big brands will always get lots of people here um, and they're, they're, they're really busy and, and the smaller brands or the brands that they get a few people so people will go in and sit on them and, and test them but they're, they're, they're quite they're not as busy but Triumph and, and, and Norton is uh, very busy. Kawasaki was very busy. You've got Ducati here, look, um, just over my shoulder. It is very busy. Then you've got uh, some of the smaller brands and you can go up and spend as much time there as you want and uh, as much time sitting on the bikes as you want because they're not as busy. It's, uh, it is, well, I suppose that's what the nature is, isn't it? And what's uh, interesting with bikes as well, really, isn't it, is, is the brand loyalty. Um, people say what's your favorite band what's your favorite bike um, and there's always that there as well and um, even crossover of course but uh, it's um, sorry I'm just going around distracted distracted by other bikes like I said I'm not a uh, uh, big on the bikes the technology uh, all this for me it's about the experience of finding uh, bikes that are just lovely to ride and it's uh, just going off and being free um, with that experience of just uh, getting out. That, that's where I sit uh, in the biker world. Uh, um, uh, you know, people know the talk of uh, different um, the nuts and bolts, which what the torque is, uh, the engine displacement, and all those things. That's not where I'm at. For me, it's about the experience, and, and that's the beauty of the motorbiking community is, is that. And what the beauty of is uh, being a vicar as well in that is that we can. Uh, engage with our faith. It's always interesting um, that uh, we're actually quite accepted in that sense. Probably because we a lot of motorcyclists at one time in their life as they go around a corner and think they're going to lose it, will believe in God. And um, so one of the things that we want to do as, in our charity is to go and do a, a blessing of bikes and um, 
to really engage with people that way outside of helping people who have fallen uh, out, of the, out of the system and engage with them and speak about faith but actually going out and, 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 and blessing bikes uh, blessing bikes is, is a great opportunity to you know we'll be there in our, all our ropes and um, a great opportunity to be able to speak to people open the doors speak about faith uh, we're like-minded uh, people in our community uh, of Vikings so it's you know I'm wearing my colour today and walking around and it's um, it's again it's, it's, it's interesting because you it's a different atmosphere it's uh, you don't get looks in some places where you go like this if you are talking around my collar they're like why are you here but uh, here it's not so um, and this is why we're, we're, we're launching this and uh, uh, because it, it we we are accepted uh, as bikers in this community there are lots of christian bike um, charities and organizations out there um, which is absolutely great so i'm going to go off now and uh, try find my brother matthew see what he's getting up to and see uh, what interesting things we can get to see so oh yeah just to say this is a press day today so my, a lot of press here it's a lot quiet it's the first day so Come the weekend, this place will be heaving. So it's quite nice to be able to go around. Um, like I said, those smaller bikes companies will have a lot of people there, let alone the bigger bike companies. So um, this, uh, yeah. So today's a bit quieter on the first day, but a great opportunity for us to come and uh, meet and network. So I'm back on the Royal Enfield stand, and just uh, Matthew's just interviewing his son, just sat on the motorbike in front of us. A very, very cool little motorbike here. I just um, sat on this motorbike, the Scram. I think that's the way that you call it. It's very cool. They got the new um, Himalayan here, and it's behind me, uh, but everybody is um, sat on it. So it might be one of those that we get to sit on after um, the everybody's gone because it's, it's a new model, so a lot of people want to come in and, and, and test it out. Again, that's what I said, a lot of people, this is why people are coming here, speak about the bikes, test the bikes, sit on the bikes. And you, I, I wonder how many bikes people would want to buy if they had the money, they would walk out with so many bikes. So easy to walk out with so many bikes. Um, so Matthew's carrying on with his interview there. And um, just gonna show you just what it's like. Uh, let's take his face tracking off when um, camera went the wrong way when you get a new bike and people are coming to see that bike there's a lot of uh, interest in it but then if you look behind me on this one there's hardly anybody on these bikes um, not because they're electric but because people are coming to see particularly the ones that they want so we are on the uh, MCN Green Garage stand and Edmund is going to get the opportunity to sit on uh, the bike which uh, Richard Hammond uh, has sat on. So he's really, really excited. It's a Royal Enfield bike. It's a 1970 uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor uh, 750 Series 2. I have to read it. Some other people will know that off by heart. So he's going to sit on it in a minute. He's got special permission uh, to do it. There's going to be people around. There's people behind us who are going to be very, very jealous that he's going to do that. So. Uh, Let's have a look. So they're just having a, a chat about it at the moment. Uh, and next to it, you've got uh, a 972 Suzuki GT 750J kettle, which is owned by Henry Cole. Um, and this is owned by Steve Kane. Steve is here. It's his bike. That's why he's so lucky to be able to get to sit on it. So uh, let's, let's see Edmund getting on the bike. <laughs> no, very, very happy boy, a very, very happy boy. Can you imagine riding that room? So one thing that I'm learning just by being on this dream garage stand, because I've been into motorbikes all my life, and um, I, 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 like I said, I love riding them. I've, I've ridden them since I was about 17. Um, when you start speaking to people about the technicalities of bikes that, or certain years or certain vintages or this or that, I am out of my depth. So I'm really realizing that this channel is gonna be about the experience and, and just what it's like uh, riding bikes. But I will be speaking to people who absolutely love them. It might go over my head, but I hope that you enjoy it as well. So on this Dream Garage, we've got uh, two bikes here that are owned by Richard Hammond. 
um, these two sports bikes that are his, uh, which is very cool. A lot of people have uh, been coming past taking photos of these. Obviously, we can't touch these bikes except for um, the one that uh, Edmund is at the moment now sat on uh, with a group around, stood around, still chatting. Been, been actually, he's been sat on it for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's it's going to make his day. So, but they are now in, in the midst of uh, conversations uh, about the technicalities of bikes and things. And it, I, I, love, I love it. I, it's very cool. But like I said, um, I think we all come to bikes in a different way, which is also very cool. And um, the technical parts, it's something that I'm going to learn. It's, it's part of the journey, isn't it? So even though I've ridden bikes all my life and various bikes, um, never got into them that way. But it is quite fascinating. It is fascinating. If you're into bikes, you really, really are into bikes, and that's uh, a new, a new, um, a new thing for me. And it's opening up these great conversations, which is really what it's all about, and really what the the charity is about as well. Um, to open up conversations with people uh, about motorbikes as something that we got in common, but also then about Jesus Christ and the hope that he can give people, especially in a difficult circumstance. So uh, very blessed to be here to be able to. Uh, see these bikes and also to make the connections as well. So we are finishing now, we're just walking out. It's been it's been great today. Um, getting to see so many things. Also learning for me how much of a journey that I'm, I'm going on, not just uh, being on. Uh, I have been riding bikes for the past 30 years, but not got into the technicalities about things. And it's a whole section here that I haven't been to. So I think um, I might come back up later in the week because I've got my pass and that'll get me in. and. Uh, to see more things, uh, to learn more things. Actually, <laughs> I say I, I'm not into all the uh, technicalities, but hearing these guys speaking about that has actually opened my eyes. And I'm never going to be there on that sense, but it's, um, it, I suppose it gets you, uh, and it's great to learn more about it, to be able to speak to more people. So we're just about to walk out the door. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more as uh, I learn how to vlog again and uh, take you on this journey of uh, Revs the Charity.